you can't advocate for music being different if it's not different. So, so you, they'll, they'll say, well, music is different than what happens in the math classroom. And I say, really? In the math classroom, you get a textbook, and the teacher tells you to do the following exercises. And over the series of a few weeks, you get a test or an exam, and then you put that away, and you go later in the textbook. Well, how is that different than what happens in the music classroom? The teacher tells you what repertoire to play, uh, how to play it, how to interpret it. Uh, go practice it, go do your homework, and we're going to have a test, and we call it a performance, and then we put that repertoire away, and away we go, and there goes the cycle. Uh, so just because they're playing, uh, and don't get me started on that word, um, doesn't mean that, that they're using some different parts of their brain, left, right, whatever, uh, that's different in the math classroom. In many ways, the math classroom, at least in some of the high schools I've been in lately, that are flipping the model uh, and doing a lot more group work and working it out and messiness uh, and loud, you know, uh, they're ahead of the game than a lot of the band programs that I visit.